Today is the day I'd like to do a call out to our ancestors. Let's thank the Mediterranean area. Let's thank the Arabs for 500 years of ago. Uh, we adopted numbers like one, two, three, four into science. Uh, we've got the Latin and the Greek so that we can do big numbers and small numbers with prefixes like micro and mega. Let's take a look at some of that in closer detail. Okay, I really like this topic of prefixes and their etymologies because it mixes math, history, culture, all together into one exciting uh, block. So, uh, for example, just to uh, first show the technical side of it, mega, I love that word, 10 to the sixth. So if I have a mega something, what would you like to have? A mega meter, that would be 10 to the sixth meters, for example. So that's a million uh, meters. There it is, there's the kilogram which is 10 to the third grams or a thousand uh, grams. And you recognize some other fun ones along here like the Yoda, 10 to the 24th. That's a big number. Exa, exajoule, uh, 10 to the 18. So there are lots of fun numbers uh, uh, in terms of multiplicative factors. And then of course, if you want to get a really small number, there are lots of other fun numbers. So we've got centa, like centimeter, so centimeter or 10 to the negative two meters or 0 0.01 meters or 100 centimeters in a meter. Uh, there's milli, like the millipede. Uh, there's milli, like the milliliter. So 10 to the negative three liters. Uh, that takes you up to um, a thousand milliliters in a liter. Um, there's micro, which is something that's uh, small, like a micrometer. Micrometer, 10 to the six meters, or one million micrometers in a meter. Um, now, the fun part of all this, of course, is to get to uh, their connections to uh, history. So a lot of Mediterranean action uh, here. Um, we've got uh, uh, mega, which is the Greeks for big. And uh, we got giga, the Greeks for giant. Or terra, the Greek for monster. Uh, other things that we've got, though, are to turn to the uh, uh, Roman or Latin heritage. Uh, we've got centi for a hundredth. A centurion, a block of a hundred men. Milli for a thousandth. Of course, you've also got centipedes and millipedes, the insects. You've got Greek for uh, micro, small, or nano, Greek for dwarf. And then, of course, uh, there are other interesting things here. Spanish shows up with pico for a tiny bit. Norwegians, femto. 15. Uh, so uh, a lot of fun heritage uh, in the names that we use for multiplying numbers and condensing them. So we don't always have to say uh, 10 to the 6 meters. We can just say a megameter, for example, or 10 to the 3 grams. We can just say a kilogram, for example. Makes life simpler to have these uh, 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 short ways to say uh, large or small numbers using the uh, uh, descriptor in front like kilo or mega or micro or nano. Acabou.